I'm going to tell a story of when I almost cut my hand off. I was working at California Closets, and I was by myself, and I was reaching over the saw blade, but they didn't have a guard, so I probably shouldn't have been doing that, and I hit my wrist on the blade. I could see the bone and the tendons, and it didn't bleed right away, but about two seconds after it happened, I saw the bone, and then it filled with blood and started squirting. So I grabbed it with my other hand, my right hand, and I started running into the office. The only other person working was the secretary. So I went in the office. I told her to call 911. She said, can I help you? I said, could you just call 911? And then she asked if I needed the first aid kit. So I kind of yelled at her, call 911. I noticed I was bleeding all over the showroom floor. So I walked outside the front door to wait for the ambulance. She brought me a chair. I sat down. And then a large pool of blood started building around me. So it really didn't hurt at this point, but I was in shock, I think. So the ambulance got there, then they wrapped it up really tight in a tourniquet, so it was like super tight, my fingers were turning blue. I got in the ambulance, and then after I realized I was going to be safe, that's when it really started hurting. But the nice lady in the back with me uh, had my arm elevated. You can kind of see the scar there. I don't know if you can see it. Right and uh, she was holding my other hand and talking, you know, just saying nice things to me, and keeping my mind off of it, kind of. So we got to the hospital, and it had been wrapped up tight for so long that the nurse that took it off and was looking at it was kind of poking around inside of it. And he, uh, it was hurting really bad, so I was you know, asking for something for the pain, so they kept giving me morphine, and he said that they could legally give me no more morphine, and it still was killing me. And they told me there was really nothing they could do there, they were gonna have to take me to surgery. So about this time, my mother showed up with my sister, I was, had been moved out of the emergency room into the hallway waiting to go to the surgery. And since it had been wrapped so tight, it wasn't really bleeding that much. But once they put me in the hall by myself, the bandage was just wrapped loose around it. It started pulsing again. And so there was blood all over the floor. My sister had to leave. I'm sitting in the hall. A bum urinated in the room across from me on the floor. My mom kept asking, Are you, is he going to bleed to death? Should we be giving him more blood? And they kept saying, oh, no, he hasn't lost that much. We'll get it in him faster than we can lose it. So my last memory before I passed out was talking to my mom was above me and my wound was pulsing through the bandage and then I passed out and I woke up in the hospital room some time later, hours later and my arm was in a cast bent like this because it had taken a chunk out of it so I had to, they had to stretch everything back together so I was in a cast like that for nine months and then after they took it off it took another six or seven months for me to slowly and stretch it back out. But now it actually is more flexible than my right hand. So everything worked out for the best. I've made a full recovery. And that's my story.